Right, John, let me, let me go ahead and have you st state your name. I'm John Sterling. Spell that for me. S-T-E-R-L-I-N-G. And then just tell me, what, what, do you, what do we have here behind you? We've got um, a mock-up of a bunker that would have been typical in Vietnam with the protection of the sand and the barrels and sandbags. And so it's a backdrop to do the picture thing, you know, that people can identify with. So it says a backdrop, a partial, uh, partial bunker. And you built this? Yeah, we built this uh, here a weekend ago, and volunteers here helped us out, and we strapped it all together and, and uh, got it set up. And uh, it, it's going to be hard to move. Might have to tear it down when this is all over. But Why is this important to you? I don't know. I, uh, I'm a former teacher, and uh, and as a landscape architect, I, you know, you're building, and we do presentations uh, set up for lobbies, you know, for like St. Al's and at uh, Christmas time downtown, and just a, we're doing so much of that kind of setup of a scene that it's kind of easy to just grab a bunch of stuff and make a scene out of it because that's kind of what I did as a living, you know. So it was easy for uh, when I suggested to John and Sue was, well, let's put up a bunker, let's do a, you know, a little scene so that when people come in, they have something to kind of look at. And so, you know, that kind of got going. I started gathering up barrels and sandbags and and old beams and, and uh, Two by twelves left over from our nursery operation, and and voila, here we are, bunker and back to Vietnam. So, uh, tell me uh, what this means to you specifically as a Vietnam veteran. What the, the bunker itself does? Yeah, or is there a reason you you wanted to focus obviously on the well, Vietnam so, so much air? so much time is spent there. Um, you know, you're out and about, but then you're back in and hunkered down, and and so you had to build your own bunkers or get the CBs to do them. And uh, every time you moved, you had to find a new, you know, hard place to to set up shop. So, so it was just we did this over and over again, and it just kind of became for me. It was if you're going to go to Vietnam, then you're back building bunkers again, see? and improving your position, as we called it. So that's kind of the word where it is. What did Vietnam? What did it mean to you? And why is it important to preserve some of these some of these memories? I just think that uh, you know sacrifices that uh, so many individuals gave, and the some were drafted and were willing to go, others volunteered to go, but. Once you're over there, you know, you get caught up in the heat of the thing and before you know it, uh, you know, you're in the middle of something and and you wonder what you had done, how you happened to be there. But it, I think the commemoration would be really good for to communicate to other veterans and try to support them and have them see what somebody else was doing and that's the intercommunication that's the most important part. I think. Thanks, John.